Showtime at the Tour of Catalonia. Would Ramco Evenepoel find that solitary second to deny Primoz Roglic the title? Still two days to come, of course, but this surely the crucible of action to decide the title. 176.6 kilometres looping out from back past Tortosa before returning to town once again after crossing the river and heading for the ultimate test. Some say the Queen stage of this year's race. Lopart. Well, the final intermediate sprint would announce the great climb. Had a couple of incarnations of a breakaway. Early on, Ethan Hayter had gone off up the road, along with Guillaume Martin, who was hunting mountains points, and Zabu Gamay. Well, Martin went back to the pack as Gamay and the other brave riders pushed on out front. Enough mountains points, presumably, for Martin. Not to give himself a chance anyway in the King of the Mountains competition. Three from Kern Farmer were up the road, Amasketa from Cairo Rural, Azamendi from Uskaltel, and the pace being set. Down in the valleys by Sudel Quickstep, working, of course, once again for Remco Evenepoel, trying to tire out the pack. But it was largely flat lands, and it was Zagbo Gamay of Team Jaco Alula who pushed on to detonate the break. Well, he got himself a bit of a margin, but the gap back to the peloton was starting to close. When he was finally collected, it was Bahrain Victorious working for Mikkel Lander that took the chase on. Pseudo quick step, though, never far from the front, being joined by UA Team Emirates to try and punish, potentially, Jumbo Visma. Where was Ciccone, we kept asking ourselves, towards the back of this pack. But as the inclines started to pick up, Evenepoel went for it, tried to shake off Roglic, could not do so. Marc Soler was the first to bridge over, Lander struggling to get onto his back wheel. Where was Almeida, we were asking ourselves, and where was Ciccone? Well, Soler, Evenepoel and Roglic locked together. Meanwhile, Almeida was being nursed by Adam Yates and would ultimately try and bridge over to the three up front. Ciccone finding himself in the company of Adam Yates and saying farewell to them was Almeida, pushing past Rigoberto Oran, who was having a good day. Likewise, Michael Woods and, of course, Mikkel Lander. Well, the radio call came up to those out front for Soler to wait up for Almeida. He was to join. Great effort by the young Portuguese and battling for a place on that podium, occupied, of course, by Ciccone, who was struggling. What would Soler and Almeida be able to offer up this group and would they be allowed to take the day? It is, of course, Marc Soler's home area and they were in softening up mode, but it was the young Portuguese that went for it. He went on the attack with less than a kilometre to go, chasing him down instinctively, Remco Evenepoel, and sharing the duties with Primoz Roglic who came to join the fun. Ultimately, it was down to the two men who really have defined the race. Almeida just distanced. And then, surely, it had to be Remco Evenepoel. 300 metres to go, he launched, but on his back wheel was Primoz Roglic. Never say die, Primoz, heading rather uncomfortably on the inside of every single corner, just making sure that Remco did not have full belief in his capabilities in the drive for the line. Start of the day, level on time, don't forget. Roglic positionally with the advantage and he extended that usually here in the last 50 metres he gained six seconds over Evenepoel factoring the bonuses as well and Roglic controls this race by a margin of 10 seconds a spectacular day in Catalonia one to behold really and absolutely the fact that Primoz Roglic is well and truly back to his absolute best if you didn't know it after watching Tirreno Adriatico, then you certainly know it now, and so does everybody, including Remco Evenepoel. Almeida in third place today, ahead of Marc Soler, his teammate Rigoberto Aran, dialing the clock back. Martinez from Groupama as well, with a very, very good finish. But it is Roglic that controls this race with two stages to go and by a margin of 10 seconds. Almeida nudges onto the podium, looks like that is secure for the young Portuguese. Fine ride by him. Ciccone dropping down the order to 8th place. And so to tomorrow, Molins de Rai, 183.2 kilometres. Most of the lumps in the middle of the day, begging a breakaway, surely. 
but also you can be certain that Primoz Roglic will be absolutely on the wheel of Remco Evenepoel. Chances remain, but they're running out. For anyone to challenge Primoz Roglic, the very best have tried and not managed it yet. So with two days remaining in Catalonia, Roglic is in charge. Will he make it home? Keep it here to find out.